Hello again, this is Mr. Tipton, and today we are talking about unit rates. But before we jump into unit rates, let's review what a ratio is. From elementary school, you learned that a ratio is a comparison of two quantities by division. An example of this, let's say we've got a classroom and there are 20 boys and 6 girls. Well, if I wanted to know the ratio of boys to girls, it would be... 20 to 6. The ratio uh, is a comparison of two quantities by division. We know that the fraction line also means to divide. All right, so 20 over 6. There are 20 boys for every 6 girls. But actually, because it's a fraction, we're going to need to reduce it. So actually what we want for the ratio of boys to girls is 10 to 3. There are a couple of other ways that we can write this ratio. We can use the word 2, 10 to 3, and we can also use a colon. All three of these are acceptable ways to write ratios, but for the most part this year, since we have already done ratios in elementary school and we're jumping ahead to unit rates and some other things, we're going to want to stick with the fraction. All right. Well, let's keep going talk about unit rates. Unit rates, well actually no, not unit rates yet. Just rates. Rates are a type of ratio that compares different units. In the last one, I know we had boys and girls and those are different, but when we're comparing those, they're also they're all people. Pretty much the same kind of unit. Whereas these four examples are comparing units that are completely different. 652 miles in 9 days. $8.75, 12 candy bars. These are all examples of rates. They're ratios that compare different units. Eggs and chickens. Kilometers and seconds. Now, unit rates compare a quantity to 1. And to do that is really easy. We just divide. We already know that the fraction line means to divide, so we're just going to do that. Here we have, uh, and I'll make this example 1, but we have 652 miles in 9 days. Well, if I want to know the unit rate, I'm just going to divide. This is 652 divided by 9, so I'm just going to divide by 9. On the top, 652 divided by 9 is 72.444444 forever. So 72.4 repeating miles. And remember, we're comparing it to 1. So it's for 1 day. It's kind of like we're reducing this fraction, except it's okay to have a decimal in your ratio. 652 miles in 9 days is a rate. 72.4 repeating miles per day or in one day is a unit rate because we are comparing it to 1. 1 has to be in the denominator. And let's see, I can also write it like this. That says a labeled fraction with a denominator of 1. Or I can also write it like a kitty. Oops, that's supposed to be an S. Miles per day. Let's look at a couple more. $4.60 for five cans. And we want the unit rate for this. We need the denominator to be one. Unit rates compare things to one. So we're just going to divide. 5's on the bottom, so that's what we're dividing by. $4.60 divided by 5 comes out to be 92 cents for one can. I'll get a little equal sign in there. 92 cents for one can, a labeled fraction with a denominator of 1, or like a kitty. You can write your unit rate either way. 
Another example. Oops. Let's see. This one was two. And this one will be three. We've got half a mile and one fourth of an hour. Half a mile and one fourth of an hour. We've got fractions inside of fractions. Fine. No big deal. We still are going to divide by the denominator. We want our denominator to be 1, because that's what unit rates are, comparing things to 1. And we know that we can get 1 by dividing a number by itself. Anything divided by itself is 1. So 1 fourth divided by 1 fourth is going to give us 1 hour. On top, 1 half divided by 1 fourth is 2 miles. If you can't do the fractions, put them in your calculator. Half a mile in a fourth of an hour is 2 miles per hour. 2 miles per hour. Labeled fractions with a denominator of 1 or like a kitty. And that's all we're doing is, is creating unit rates from the rates that we're given. One last time, make sure you have this down. There are two different ways to write a unit rate. It must either be a labeled fraction with a denominator of 1 or like a kitty. If you haven't figured out what like a kitty means, feel free to ask me. I'd be more than happy to share. Also write down any other questions you have, and we'll see you soon.